years ago this week, a woman took the mound to pitch for the St. Paul Saints, launching a media frenzy. Today, Isla Borders is back in town. Holding a clinic this morning before being honored at the Saints game tonight, Dave McCoy caught up with her as she reflects on her trailblazing time in Minnesota. All right, ready? On a baseball field, anything feels possible. Here you go. Nobody knows that better than Isla Borders. Here you go. A message she pays forward. Catch a ball out in front. As she leads her all-girls clinic this morning at the home of the Saints. We just want to get girls out here to show that girls can play baseball, and we want them to have a fun experience. Here you go. 20 years ago this week, Borders took it upon herself to show that firsthand. Midway Stadium in St. Paul continues to be the field of dreams for Isla Borders. She's now officially the first woman to make the roster of a men's professional baseball team. Most of these guys have played professional baseball and even in the show, so I'm just mostly um, stressed out of the hard part is going to pitch against these guys. Borders broke baseball's gender barrier when she made her debut for the Saints in 1997 pitching seven games before being traded. There were some tough things that I went through, but that's kind of normal if you're the first person doing that. But uh, the fans were great, my teammates were great, and um, I'll never forget that experience with everybody just being so supportive. The Saints have always been known for their gimmicks and promotions, but Borders says she never felt like one. I didn't think somebody could say I was out here to sell tickets because when I first came here, you know, Mike Vett greeted me in the parking lot and uh, Every seat was already sold out for two years. Throw any challenge. But she still remembers the buzz that followed her. You know, I was on Jay Leno, Good Morning Show. Uh, I was over in Japan. It was kind of crazy. 20 years later, she's now a firefighter and paramedic in Oregon, but still keeps her connection to baseball through her clinics, hoping that perhaps one of these girls here will pick up where she left off. You're going to get a lot of no's, but it just takes that one yes. Hopefully, maybe they can get inspired that when somebody says, oh, it hasn't been done, so you can't do it, you can be like, it hasn't been done, but I'm going to do it. Your foot right here. David McCoy, WCCO4 Sports.